Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I wanted to go over the new patch notes from March 27th together with you and make it a little bit easier to understand. Hi everyone, my name is Maja Pika, I'm your streaming witch over on twitch.tv slash Maja Pika. So I would really appreciate if you would check it out and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a subscribe. And let's hop right into the patch notes and all the events that are going on during this week, which is gonna be almost all Easter themed, which is really neat because Easter is right upon us. Happy Easter in advance, if you are celebrating it. So let us hop right into the first event. As you can see, we have a lot of events go to go through. So let's hop right into the first one. And it's gonna be a continuation of an event that already started last week. And it's the monster hunting slash mining gather unknown ore. So this one will continue until April 3rd. And we're gonna gather this unknown ore by slaying our monsters while we are doing our grinding or by gathering the event unknown ore from mining stones <laughs> for mining you're gonna get a lot more of of these event items but don't worry even when going out grinding you're gonna gather a lot of them by gathering them and exchanging them once per family you can get one of these six items i really recommend you to get the ultimate combined magic crystal macalot which is gonna give you an ap of i think if i remember correctly five as well you can exchange any remaining of the event tokens for these ones, which will be 100% guaranteed, the Trace of Savagery, the Platinum Ore and the Rough Stone, as well as by a set probability, you get also one of these four items. So again, the ultimate combined magic crystals or a light stone of fire strike. You can also sell these ones on the central market. So if you have a lot of them, I can also recommend you to sell them. For our next event, this is an event that happened actually last year as well. And it's gonna be the Fly High Dunkonard, which is gonna be a really fun event. And it is where your donkey can actually fly. So if you don't own a Pegasus, this is your time now. It's spreading wings and soaring through the skies. What if the donkey's dream came true? And this one is gonna happen until April 10th. So for that one, we can actually get us our donkey out and fly through the sky. By pressing the space button on your keyboard while enjoying the game, you can actually fly with the donkey. And by pressing E when doing a double jump, you can glide through the sky. So, and to just now show off as well how the donkey event works, I have my Shy on my donkey here. My donkey is a level 11, but the level does not matter for the donkey. Just go ahead, hop onto your donkey, right into the sunset f2 or where you can participate if you want to and you're a very creative person you can get your easter eggs and color them and decorate it themed after one of your favorite regions in black desert online you're gonna post it afterwards uh, your submission in on the forums in the event sections with the title region easter egg 2024 and here we also have our perfect title example so EU Easter Egg 2024 Serenia inspired Easter Egg. For a small tip that I gave us as well is to check out the last year's winner for some inspiration and the competition is gonna be fierce. So let your creativity go. We're gonna have five winners in total and they're gonna get a reward, which is gonna be the Black Desert merch kit as well as the Black Desert calendar. The Black Desert merch kit will actually have the Wusa Snowtail fan, which is really sweet. The Snowtail fan trinket, which has gonna be two trinkets in there. Gumin Guminho and Sangwoon traditional cup. Uh, land of the morning light magnet and five postcards which is really neat for getting it by just posting a picture of your inspired easter egg as well as one of these black desert online 2024 calendars for our third event that is gonna happen it's the best hiding spots in town which is gonna be another event that you can post in the event section where we are gonna go ahead and go through our world of Black Desert Online, especially the towns. So this is gonna be town specific and you're gonna look for the best locations where you would hide an Easter egg. So choose one of your favorite hidden locations in one of the towns, make a screenshot and post your submission on the forums in the event section with the required title Easter egg 
region, Easter hiding spots and the title. So if you have a very cool location uh, in some time of, in some town, then be sure to take a screenshot like this and send it over and tell them where you would hide an Easter egg and where nobody would find them. By participating in this event, you will also get some rewards just by participating. And it's going to be the event Raindrop Flondor Goose Egg, which is going to give you an Enhancement Help Kit, Old Moon Fortune Scroll, an Item Collection Increase Scroll times two, one Mystical Brilliant Egg, as well as the Star Pattern Flondor Goose Egg, which is going to give you a Giovanni's Grolian Support Scroll times two, Lara's Warm Black Tea times three, which is going to be perfect for all of our life experience life skillers in the game, some concentrated magical black gem times five and a mystical brilliant egg. So just by participating, you will also get these kinds of rewards. So be sure to go into one town and find a nice hidden spot and be sure to claim those rewards. As our fourth event, we have Old Moon Boss Seal who made this Kazaka statue. This event will happen from March 27th, so from today up until April 10th. Once per family, you get the event Real Kazaka statue. Place this one in your residency and meet Kazaka with a rather different appearance than usual. The old moon boss seal can be exchanged in the newly added managed currency UI, which we will have a look at later on. And by defeating the world process during this event, you obtain the old moon boss seal, which will look like this, and you can exchange this out through other things, which is gonna be these items. So by one giving in one of these boss moon seals, you can have all of these items, which is really neat and really cool, especially for everybody that wants to, the, to do the guaranteed pen accessory, the old moon alchemy catalyst times four and the Yona fragments. These are gonna be very nice things. For our life skillers, we also got some supreme cooking utensils and the supreme alchemy tool. And you're gonna get these things just by exchanging one of the boss seal. By exchanging three of the boss seals, you get the real Kazaka statue, one exchange per family. So if you want to put it up, you got to exchange three of them. And by the by exchanging five of them, you get the ancient magic crystal of nature, Adamantine, which the ancient magic crystal of nature is going to give you a knockdown bound resistance by 25%. By exchanging five of them, you can get all of these items, which very interestingly, you can get the contained boss aura times 10. And for all of the people out there that are gonna do their enhancing, we also get the advice of bikes plus 80, but just one time and the contained boss aura just three times. For 20 seals, we get a belongings of an adventurer, which is gonna be raffled and RNG based, whatever you get from the belongings of an adventurer. And last but not least, let's go through our patch notes on March 27th, which we're going to have a lot of um, class changes that are going to happen. And most of them are Valkyria based. So our Valkyria will get a huge overhaul, which is going to be very, very nice. For example, the flurry of kicks to apply an extra hit on the last attack once the ultimate is learned. Some fixed issues that are already known for the SP recovery, where the number of the hits of shield plush, which is com uh, comboed after shield case, was abnormal. Fixed issues where they just count the one to three was performed when shift plus RMB was input while using the guard. So a lot of overhaul for our Valkyria. So if you're a Valkyria main, this one is gonna be very very nice for you as well as Hasashin and uh, the Shy and Drakenia and the Sorceress got a few changes as well. We got uh, added probability information to the description of these items. So for the Talif Defense Gear box, for the Kreia Sub Weapon box, for the Blackstone bundle, we got an added probability for those. For our monsters, the Pilaku, we get a Dekia Lantern Zone, which is gonna be nice for everybody that has a higher gear score. You're gonna have a new region where you can get all of your money in. The monsters of the Pilaku uh, Jail will change when you use the Dekia's Lantern in certain locations. If you're in possession of the compass, you can also be guided to a nearby location via the Monster Zone info. So have one running so you get automatically to the right spot. and. The recommended AP is going to be 300 and the recommended DP is going to be 400. The main loot is going to be very nice. So we have our, obviously, the map of the unknown piece, which is going to be very good for having the compass 
always on. You're gonna get the Deboraka earring, Cecil Snackers, Kafra stones and a scroll written in ancient language. This is gonna be very nice if you're gonna go farm for memory fragments as well. But our main things that we're gonna look for is probably the Deboraka earring. They also changed and improved the navigation within the Pilaku jail. For our Bamboo Legion Lieutenant in the boss splits uh, in the Black Shrine, they changed the... Uh, if he leaves the zone, it will return to its original spawn location. However, the HP does not recover. Fixed so that if you leave the combat zone, all monsters within the combat zone will disappear. And when you enter the combat zone, the battle will start again from... Fixed so that the warning message is displayed before you leave the combat zone. And where the Bamboo Legion Lieutenant returned to its original position with recovered HP if the combat area was exited too frequently. So if you exit it too frequently, the HP will actually do recover. One of the features that they also have added is for the Crimson Dragon Garmouth, which is gonna be the items that you get from it by being one of the top contributors. By being one of the top five contribu contributors, you will automatically get the Obtain the Garmoth Bloodstone, the Garmoth Scale and a Gold Bar based on set probability as well when you are in the top 20 contributors. The adventurers, if you don't have any contribution in that one, will be the same as before. So by, by hitting and making the most damage on Garmoth, you will actually get more items and if you're one of the top 5 or tw top 20, you will get some nice items out. If you don't need the Garmoth Bloodstone anymore, you will actually get Garmoth Scale now from Kukau after completing his quest Happy Crimson Accident. They've also overhauled some of the quests and knowledge things as well. So for the recall of the memory quest first during the process to acquire Xing Zhong's Miraculous Fish Tank, 50 Sots, the Timeless Memento Quest from Dory will not be available. They also include the clarity of one of Igor Bartali's adventure books, quests from Volume 8, Chapter 5, and they changed the Remembering the Grand Prix Champion Quest to be acceptable from Mula at the Stonetail Horse Ranch in Medea as well. They've also overhauled a little bit of our sea region, so they removed some rocks so that it is easier to go through uh, the sea and not hit any rocks when you're trying to go to some certain islands. As well as they've changed over the UI, which is gonna be the best thing ever, which, which happened this patch. So they've actually added a managed currency UI, which is gonna be so very nice for all of your event items. And they're gonna be exchanged and stored in one place. Seals like the Imperial Delivery, Node Conquest Wall Seals, and other similar items will now not be stored in your inventory or your storage. They will put be put directly into your UI. With this, you also don't have to run to each NPC again and exchange one item at one NPC and another item at another NPC. It's just gonna be in one place now, finally. But this will also only affect so that it doesn't get all too confusing. Just the seals that are most stored and most gotten that are always in the game and the other ones are still gonna be in your inventory. Also, the seals from events that are no longer used will be console consolidated into event reward seals to give them a chance to be still used. So if you have some event seals that you haven't um, exchanged yet from years ago or from like the last events that you haven't gotten a chance to exchange, you will get a chance to use them for other things. So now we're gonna actually look at how it is actually done and for that I move the camera right to the left button because we we do need to have a look through it together in a better view. So right here at the top corner, you see the Manage Currency UI icon. So just click right ahead on that. And here we see actually every seeking freaking seal that we have that we can exchange and that are in the game. So for example, I have a lot of seals that I haven't exchanged into anything. So if I want to see what I can exchange my seals into, I just click onto it and it actually will show me the exchange list of what I can change my seals and item things into. So for the golden seal super work supervisor, I have about a 20k of them and I can now see exactly of what I can turn them into. As well as for anything else like the dark spirits greed, the Shakatu seals, the Dekima token of the oath, the hunter seals. This is all gonna be now in one 
place, which is going to be very nice. It's 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 alleviating us from like going into different regions and just going to one NPC just to exchange those items. And it also will not clutter up your storage or your inventory anymore. So you're going to have a lot of slots left to use, which is going to be very nice. They have also integrated a confirmation window to make it easier to recognize the light stones to be exchanged when exchanging light thrones through Dalicia, the Wandering Alchemist. So you have a set probability and see what you're gonna do actually before you're gonna exchange them. Let's go through the pearl shop update as well. So if you have a costume that is gonna be maybe in the center market up for pre-sale, you're gonna be one of the lucky few that are gonna be able to get one. We're gonna have the Outfit Blowout number three, the Shootout Premium set, which is gonna be on a discount of 10% and you're gonna get either the Shootout Black Premium set or the Glorious Shootout Premium set, as well as the Classic set for a 10% discount as well. So now you can actually buy this event ticket for 250 pearls on the pearl shop as well if you want to spend around two euros and 50 cents uh, but this item will be be deleted at uh, during the april 17th maintenance so be sure to if you get them and if you buy them to use them up until april 17th then we've got the premium outfit two plus, two plus one for april fool's day which is also gonna happen on i think monday so you're gonna get for 6,800 pearls, you're actually gonna get four outfits and you're gonna get two premium outfit boxes as well for two plus one event. As well, for the we have a 15 day buff pack, which is gonna be 32,500 pearls, where you get the value pack for 30 days, the secret book of old moon for 30 days, and a blessing of Kama Silvia for 30 days. This is only a one time purchase, though. As well as we get a memory bundle for 10 uh, for a thousand pearls, which is gonna be some artisan memory bundle times four so you get four in total you can purchase this three times but be sure if you're gonna buy them the artisan's memory bundle is gonna be by a set probability of how many artisan memories you're actually gonna get then we have the orbs two times two so you're actually gonna get for 500 pearls five orbs if you are gonna go and look for maxim out your fairy and if you want to change her skills then be sure to pick up on this one as well because you can purchase this one three times so you can exchange a few skills of your fairy then we also have the mount skill change coupon where you get five of them as well for 500 pearls so if you have if you're into into horses <laughs> into exchanging uh, into the horse selling and breeding then you also have your mount skill change coupons here you can also purchase this three times and as well as the punk Rebbe. so he is actually gonna be one of your pets so you can purchase him as a pet you also get organic feed and an item increase scroll of 20 for a thousand eight hundred bucks uh, pearls for two thousand and two hundred pearls you can select three of these of following pets which are gonna be you're not gonna be able to purchase them purchase them separately i think these are only in the box set i hope this helped you go through the patch notes together with me and um, if you liked it and enjoyed it my rambling on and everything like that be sure to hit a like and subscribe also all of my socials are linked down below i'm also still trying to improve my knowledge in black desert online so with each update i hope that i will improve the content that i produce here as well and get more knowledgeable in the updates so with that I hope everyone has a lovely lovely Easter weekend if you're gonna celebrate it if not then happy weekend <laughs> telling you that on a Wednesday and yeah have a have a lovely lovely day and check out my socials below bye bye